I read a lot from people talking about the fact that they're not going to buy into a project until it's on a big exchange. You know, I'm not going to buy until it's on a tier one or I'm not going to buy until it's on Binance or anything like that. And like, that's the safest option. Like, fair enough. Like, that is the ultimate safe option. Uh, you know, I'm not going to buy until it's on a big exchange. But you, you have to understand that that sort of mindset means that you are missing out on huge opportunities and your upside is always going to be limited. Your entry is always going to be limited because you're waiting until it hits the big exchange. And by the time it hits the big exchange, then you've already missed out on such a huge move. Because the reason that these um, exchanges list certain projects is one, they either get paid a shit ton in listing fees or two, they list it because they see a project getting a shit ton of volume and they want that volume on their exchange because they get loads of money from fees. So say something like Pepe, right? They don't give a shit about Pepe. They don't give a shit if it's a fundamentally strong project or if it's a shit coin. If, they're, if it's getting a shit ton of volume, they're going to list it. So Binance will list Pepe. Doesn't matter if it goes up and down or, or from there. All they care about is it's getting traded. It's a lot of volume. You know, and I keep hearing at the moment about Tau, you know, right? The, when, when back in the day, it was, you know, Tau was only traded OTC. So, you know, people in the BitTensor community would come in and they would say, oh, I'm not going to buy because it's only OTC. Fair enough. I'm going to wait for an exchange. Then someone created the BitTensor exchange. It was a community run exchange. Um, but then people said, well, I'm not going to buy on there because it's not a real exchange. So, okay, fair enough. You know, I, I, you don't, don't want to buy OTC. You don't want to buy on a community led exchange. That's fair enough. There are risks with both. Then MEXC came along. Um, which is an exchange. It's a crypto exchange. It has, you know, hundreds or thousands of projects on the exchange. It does volume every single day. But people now don't want to buy there because it's not a big exchange, right? So you, you, you see these goalposts being moved every single time. You know, it's not OTC. I don't want to buy on a community exchange, but I don't want to buy on that exchange because it's not a big exchange. So people, if, you, if there are people who are waiting for a project to get listed on a big exchange, then you have to understand that there's always going to be limited. It's always going to be limited your entry into a project. You know, the prime example is Quant, right? So Quant listed on Binance uh, back in 2020, I want to say it's 2021. Um, but, but, but Quant had this huge move. It went from initially, I think it was around $10 to $30. <clears throat> and then it went from $30 to $420. And that move from, from $30 you know, it was during a time when a lot of the market was just doing nothing and going sideways. So Quant was doing a lot of volume um, and was having a huge move and getting a lot of tension because nothing else was moving and Quant was going on a huge run. So exchanges started taking notice. So you started seeing these other exchanges saying, hmm, this thing is getting a shit ton of volume, a shit ton of attention. We want, an, we want in on the action. So Binance decided they wanted to list Quant. As far as, as far as I'm aware, they didn't pay a listing fee. Binance did it off their own back. So Binance wanted to list Quant. They listed Quant at $100, right? So if you'd bought into Quant in 2021, you waited for that big exchange. Your first entry into Quant was $100. And yeah, it went up to $420, but you know, who realistically bought in $100 and sold the top? I think very little people. And then after that, it's come all the way back down. If you'd bought... That was, that was 2021, $100. You could have bought Quant years earlier on an exchange called IDEX. It was a decentralized exchange. It wasn't the easiest exchange to use, but it was had so many gems on it. You could have bought Quant on that exchange three years ago under $1. Under $1. So yes, you if you're waiting for these top exchanges, then of course it's the safest bet, but your entry is always going to be limited. It's always going to be limited and you're going to miss out on so much upside potential. One dollar to a hundred. That's a big move you've missed there. And the project, the likelihood is the project's already run quite a lot by the time it's got to these big exchanges. And I, the, the way I see it, like this is just my mindset. Maybe people are different. The way I see it is if, I, if I've done my research on a project, if I've done my research, if I truly believe in, in the project, the vision, the potential, everything, and I, I, I fundamentally want to invest in this project, then I will find a way to invest in that project, whether it's OTC, whether it's on a shitty exchange, whether it's on a top exchange. My, what I want 
is to invest in that project if I fundamentally believe in it. I need to find a way. That's how I think. And obviously you have to do your due diligence on, you know, if you're doing an OTC, you have to understand there's risk. If you're doing it on a community exchange, you have to understand there's risk. If you're doing it on a shitty exchange, you have to understand there's, there's risk. But there's risk invested on any exchanges. Look at FTX. You have to understand that you're operating in a risky space. So that's how I see it. If I really want to invest in a project, I will find a way. Um, if I fundamentally believe in it. Because my, my whole thing is I want to be invested in a project as early as possible. So by the time Tau gets listed on Binance or Coinbase or whatever it is in the future, you might find price at 200, 250, whatever. And if you'd bought back on uh, OTC, you would have got it in single digits. So it's the, the, you have to weigh up that level of risk reward. But um, I've always found it strange when, when people are, <laughs> you know, they go by that mindset of just, I have to wait. And everyone's different, of course. But I do think there is, we're in a game where you, being early matters. And when you're investing, you want to maximize your gains and your, the, the, your potential returns. And if you're just waiting for the big exchange, then you're just not going to do that.